Our readings today speak of conversion, the necessity for conversion, not just of outward appearances, not just of practicing good deeds for others to see, but most importantly, by converting our hearts, our souls, by converting ourselves to goodness, to doing good, to desiring only good. Because Jesus tells us, To do good is one thing, but to desire good is another. To do evil is one thing, but even to think about doing evil is just as punishable for the act or the thought. We are judged by God, we know that. We like to think that God is like a little big teddy bear, that no matter what we do, the teddy bear is going to love us and hug us and just bring us into the kingdom of God, to his kingdom. But we hear scripture, we hear Jesus himself giving us stern warnings to be careful with what we do in our lives, in our hearts, and in our minds. It reminds me of this series of books that I read when I was in the seminary the first time, many years ago, um, long before I was ordained. It was written by a Protestant pastor, Calvin Miller, and there was a trilogy, the singer, the song, and the finale. And before each chapter, there was a little dialogue or a little exchange or a little poem. And there was one chapter that said, decision is the key to destiny. And it's a pilgrim speaking to God, to the Lord, and he says, God, how can you love so much and lock me away into hell forever? And God says to the pilgrim, I would never lock you or send you into heaven. But if that's where you chose to go, I could never keep you out. And so we are the ones who make the choice of what our destiny is going to be. And we can't be like those who don't know because we have scripture. We have Jesus telling us, this is what your life should be to desire in your heart all that is good, not just for yourselves, not just for your family, but for everyone. What is raka? Raka is contempt for another person. So even thinking about someone who's walking by with contempt because they're different from us, because they speak another language, because they look different from us, because we know that they're different inside is a sin. We can't think with contempt. We can't even call our brother a fool or our sister, for that matter, because we will be punished, not just in this life, but in the life to come. I don't remember what movie it was in, but there's a story, a Cherokee story, of a grandfather speaking to his grandson, and he tells him, that there's a fight going on inside me, and it's a fight between two wolves. Has anyone heard this story? Perhaps you might remember it. (coughs) And one wolf is evil. He is anger and envy and jealousy and arrogance and ego. And the other wolf is good. He is compassion, and forgiveness, and love, and kindness. And he says to the grandson, and you have that fight going on inside of you, and every person on earth, every human being has that fight going on inside them. And the child looks to his grandfather and says, which wolf will win? And the grandfather said to the boy, the one that you feed, The virtues that we feed are the ones that will grow. The virtues that we feed, that we practice, are the ones which will continue. The virtues that we feed are the ones that can drag us down. The first reading tells us of that man who is virtuous all his life and commits something, who goes against God at the very end. Even though he was good all his life, he will be punished because he made that choice. It was his decision because he fed those bad virtues, even at the end. 
and the man who does good all his life and at the end converts, changes, becomes better, becomes loving, and comes to the Lord, he will be given eternal peace in God's kingdom. During this season of Lent, we ask the Lord to fill our hearts with the desire always to do good, always to be virtuous, to feed what is good in us, that those virtues may grow and bring us by his grace into his kingdom.